Welcome to At Home with Music. I'm Leon Olguin. We started with the famous 2-5-1 chord progression. And we talked about ways to make it more interesting. If you haven't watched that video, in fact, there's two videos concerning the 2-5-1 progression, I would encourage you to go back and take a look at those or review them if you've watched them already. And what I did in those videos was take the basic 2-5-1 chord progression and introduce some alterations of the basic chord. Then I went back and expanded on this and I played the basic 2-5-1 chord progression in all the major keys. So let's go ahead now and talk about the 2-5-1 progression in the minor key. So we're going to start with a quick review of the minor chords, all the diatonic minor chords that you can find in the minor scale. Then I'll demonstrate what the 2-5-1 progression sounds like in a minor key. Then we'll play through the 2-5-1 progression in all the minor keys. In other words, I'm going to show you a chord exercise that will enable you to play all these 2-5-1 progressions smoothly one after the other. And this will enable you to just get used to playing all those new chords. Maybe a lot of them are going to be new to you. And also, you will be playing in every minor key. I'm a firm believer that all keyboard players should be able to play in every key. So this exercise will help you do that. So let's switch to the overhead camera and take a look at how this is going to work. Let's start by doing a quick review of the diatonic chords in the minor scale. So we're using as our bass the natural minor scale, starting here in C minor. And so the three note triads that we'll get when we build them on each note of the scale, we start with one, which is C minor, two, which is in this case, D minor flat 5, E flat major, F minor, G minor, A flat, and B flat. So if we take the 2, 5, 1, we have 2, 5, and 1. And so what we're going to do now is change the B flat in the 5 chord to B natural. And we end up with this, two, five, one. So there's your basic two, five, one progression in the minor key, in this case, C minor, using the basic triads. Now let's expand it out to seventh chords. Still basing it on the natural minor scale. So our one seven chord is C minor seven, D minor seven flat five, that's our two, three, three, seven chord, four, seven, which is F minor seven. The five, seven chord is G minor seven. The six, seven chord is A flat major seven. And the seven, seventh chord is B flat seven. And so now our two, five, one progression becomes And so once again, we're going to change the B flat contained within the 5, 7. When we build it on the notes of the natural minor scale, we're going to change that B flat to a B. Now that sounds more like the 5, 7 that we're used to. So there's your basic 2, 5, 1 chord progression. Now playing it with 7th chords. What we're going to do is play this three note progression and we're going to cycle through all 12 minor keys. And we're going to voice it this way, just for ease of playing. You can voice it any way you like, but this will help guide you through the changes. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start here with the D minor seven flat five. You can see we've rearranged the notes. We, we took this and we, we put the D up here on top, and we're playing D in the bass. So these are all going to be in root position with other notes here in the right hand that fill out the chord. 
And then it's very easy from here to change to the five seven. These two notes move down. These two stay the same. And the bass moves up from D to G. And then we play C minor seven with this voicing. Now, to play this progression, we're going to be going down stepwise, not by half steps, but whole steps. And here's how we're going to be doing it. Here's the original C minor progression, D minor, seven, flat five, G7, C minor seven. Now we're going to take the G, it's actually the fifth of the C minor seventh chord, and we're going to lower it half a step. And now we have C minor seven flat five. This leads us to F7. So you can see now we have smoothly transitioned into B flat minor. So we started in C minor. And now this C minor seven flat five leads us to F7 and then B flat minor seven. And now we follow, keep following it down like this. So, ready? I'm going to have you play along with me now. We're going to take this very slowly, very carefully, starting here. Now we're going to play through the 2 5 1 progression in every minor key. Here we go. And I'm going to show you the chord symbol, but once again, I want you to work this out by ear and by feel and by sound, but you're not going to be reading the notes. We're just going to be looking at chord symbols. Here we go. Now we've gone through six of the 12 minor keys. And so here's how we will get to the other six. We're going to take our starting chord that we just got through playing and move it up half a step. And so now instead of starting out in the key of C minor, we're going to start out in the key of C sharp minor. So here we go. We're going to do the same thing, only now starting half a step higher. This way we can get the other six minor keys. Here we go. made it all the way back to our starting point. So there you go. Now you can play through the 2-5-1 chord progression in all the minor keys. I hope that you have found this helpful. The goal here is to enable you to play this very famous progression, the 2 chord to the 5 chord to the 1, or in this case the two seven five seven one seven and now play it in all the minor keys this will get you used to playing in different keys 
and you'll be well on your way to being a keyboard player who can play in any key. I've always believed that any good keyboard player should be able to play in any key without any trouble. So this will help you get there. And be sure to go back and review the other 251 videos where I show you how to play through the 251 progression in the major keys. You can even practice major and then minor back to back. And that'll give you a good workout for your fingers and especially for your ears. You'll get used to the sound of these beautiful chords. Later on, we'll come back and show you how this progression works in some famous songs and maybe some songs you've never heard of. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave those in the comments section. I answer every question. I respond to every comment. By the way, we just passed 15,000 subscribers. I am very, very grateful to all of you who have subscribed recently and to all of you who've been hanging in there for a long time. I appreciate you all, and I'm very, very grateful. Thank you again, and I look forward to talking to you in the next one.